focus on Asia. In this video, I'm just gonna show different types of food here in Thailand, different types of, uh, not food, but actually different types of uh, places you can eat. It's not always about the uh, street food. Uh, there's very, very good Western food, uh, local Thai restaurants, fancy Thai restaurants. And so uh, this video is just a mixture, a capture of uh, many days of eating here in Thailand and Bangkok. And uh, right now we're in a local place, and that'll be part of the video as well. You got Miss Cecilia with me. So that's what today's video is. Bangkok eats all kinds of food you can get, including in this video we'll show uh, supermarket food. Just like Japan, having bentos, which are little meals that you can get at the uh, convenience stores and at supermarkets. They also have that here in Thailand. Uh, places like Big C, uh, Macro, Lotus. Uh, so we'll show you that as well. So let's show you some food. Typical Thai local eatery. Mr. Cecilia and I are in here, and uh, we're the only ones, which is good. Or is that a bad thing? No, I think it's fine. <laughs> the reason why this place is empty is everyone's next door for uh, noodles. Look at this place. place is packed that's all right we don't want noodles we're getting some uh, chicken some pork neck some papaya salad I'll show you the food here in a bit just show the name here Nomjit Kayang since 1972 Kai Yang is the uh, grilled chicken. Here's what we ordered. This is the uh, grilled pork neck. We got the grilled chicken, Kai Yang. We got half. And then we got some papaya salad. Just regular style papaya salad. Spicy raw papaya salad with peanut and dried salted shrimp. So, show you the food here in a bit. All right, food has arrived and it came out pretty quick. Here's the grilled pork neck, looks real good. Uh, I love this red red sauce. I, I forget the name off the top of my head. It's like uh, Jiet, I'll, I'll butcher it. Uh, usually served with uh, grilled chicken and, and grilled pork. Delicious sauce. Got the half chicken over here, grilled chicken. Uh, Kayang, it's a Thai name for that. Again with the red spicy and then your normal uh, sweet chili sauce. And then we have the uh, papaya salad. And then they always come with uh, some vegetables to cool you off. Cabbage, green beans, a little bit of herbs. So we're going to get to eating. What do you think? Looks good? And uh, I'm glad there's no people here. <laughs> so it came out quick. So. I'll show you the uh, total bill when we're done. All right, so you can tell by the plates. Food was terrible. Food? Terrible? <laughs> yeah, I can't lie, delicious. All right, I'll show you the bill. All right, total bill was 400 baht. I'll put the conversion rate. That's about uh, a little over 11 bucks. So, good food. Kapunka, say hi to you too. Sawadee. Sawadee. Kapunka. Kapunka. Alright, just 
just got back from MBK, long walk, sweating. I think today was 96 degrees in Bangkok. It was a hot one. And then uh, we stopped by Big C. If you're not familiar with Big C, it's one of the big um, grocery stores. They have other stuff too, like uh, TVs and a little bit of household goods. But I uh, just want to show you some prices here in Thailand of what you can get. And uh, let me spin this around. So for dinner tonight, this is Miss Cecilia. She got uh, her some fried fish, some spicy sauce, and some rice. Around 4 o'clock they start marking stuff down because most of this stuff is made for lunch, not dinner. So this was 35 baht. This is $1 for Miss Cecilia. This right here is uh, 3 pork sticks, 21 baht. Uh, do the math on that. I'll put it on the screen. If I had to guess I'd say about uh, 75 cents. And this is... Uh, it's not pad thai, but it's it's noodles with a little bit of meat. Get all your vegetables and some egg. This was 35 baht. That's a dollar. Got uh, some sliced pineapple, 28 baht, probably about 80 cents. Four Fuji apples. This was 54 baht, so about a buck 40, maybe a little bit less. And then I haven't had plums in a long time. We don't see these in the Philippines. At least I haven't seen them. 99 baht. This is a little bit less than three dollars for some plums. Those are a little bit pricey, but all this other stuff is unbelievably cheap. So that's just uh, what you can get here in Thailand. And uh, we already ate out for lunch, so dinner. We just uh, get these little plates, bentos, and uh, that's how you budget if you want to budget in Thailand. Out here at the uh, Donkey Mall, Phong Lore, which is pretty close to our condo. About to go eat here the uh, Butcher King Burger. Give it a try. It's pretty pricey. Show you the uh, the bill after we get our food. Show you the food. So let's go eat. menu real quick just uh, show you what Mrs. C and I ordered so Mrs. C got this crispy ranch crispy chicken and ranch burger uh, burgers a little pricey 390 that's a that's a little over 10 bucks and I've got this uh, grilled portobello beef burger and that's uh, 490 that's a uh, it's about 14 bucks. So these burgers better be good. Show you, show you, show you the burger here in a second. All right, this is Mr. Say's chicken burger. This normally comes with ranch. Lots of cheese. Looks pretty good. The bun looks really good. Comes with these kind of like uh, shoestring potatoes on the side. That's included. So I'll show you the other burger here in a sec. All right, here's the uh, grilled. Portobello burger. Big portobello, big burger, grilled onions. It's a pretty good sized burger, man. Looks good. Let you know how it tastes. Best burger I've had outside of the US. Uh, really good. I love Shake Shack, but this thing blew away Shake Shack burger. It's all American beef that they import in this thing and it is pricey I'll, I'll show I'll show what we paid uh, Mr. Sia chicken was good so she liked the chicken the burger was amazing big thick portobello mushroom on top of it uh, I don't even know what the sauce was it was, it was tasty the only thing uh, was these uh, shoestring potatoes crunchy I'd rather have french fries but 
doesn't take anything away from the burger. Excellent burger. I'll show you the price here in a bit. 975 baht total. I'll put the conversion on the screen. Eating some, uh, what do they call it? Eastern Isan cuisine. So, Isan is northeast Thailand, uh, Udon Thani, that area. I really like that food. This place is a little fancy, a uh, <clears throat> little pricey, but uh, you don't have to always eat Thai food on the street. You know, you can try uh, some uh, really well prepared food and that's what we get here so on to the next place here's a typical uh, fruit cart here in Thailand you see all different cuts melon melon got your sugar spicy sugar he said check this out this is how we do propane delivery in Thailand Double rack. Stack your propane bottles on your on your moped. All right, here's the tops grocery stores near our house. It's got a KFC in here. Got a uh, vegan bistro. Got a shabu place on the end. Ramen, uh, bakery and brew. And there's a Svensson's ice cream. And a couple more restaurants in there. So these little uh, shopping grocery store plazas usually have some uh, good places to try out and eat all right in a pinch again if you don't feel like going to a restaurant or walking anywhere to get some food just go to your local grocery store here in Thailand uh, this time I'll show you here this is tops that's kind of like a higher end compared to like big C uh, so let me show you what we got here tonight to eat so this is garlic pork with rice. This is 45 baht, which comes out to about a dollar forty. Got some uh, chicken, two types, uh, roasted, and the other one is uh, got some flavor to it. I'm not sure if it's spicy or what, but 60 baht. That's about buck eighty. This is a green curry. You get an egg, kai dao, and rice. And uh, this is 55 baht. So that's about a dollar, dollar 65. So not bad for dinner. About total less than five bucks, four something, and uh, we'll be full. You know what? I can get used to this condo life. It's a real nice pool. What do you think of the pool? Good. And then you got this uh, 
view, man. You see the pool down that way. And Bangkok awaits you. Anybody want to invest in a condo? <laughs> Let's get a few of us, pool our money together, and get a uh, nice condo, maybe a two bedroom here in Bangkok, and then rotate the days, the months, and then uh, rent it out the rest of the time. I like it here.